Scatacorns. Two things. My cat, my other cat, not the cat that meows back to me, but this cat, her name is Malibu. She is right here and she is joining me while I film. But there's one other thing. There are nine people watching me film on my live. Hey Skycorns, it's me Skylar and today I am doing a special video for you guys. If you hear a bell in the background, it's my cat. She is grooming herself. So basically, today's video is the sequel to the press handstand tutorial. The video that went crazy on my channel. So the press handstand tutorial now has 72K views. Like what? So I was like, today we're gonna do a sequel because why not? Like you guys have questions about the lean press, about the jump press, about all these different types of things. So today I was like, I'm gonna make a video explaining all of those things. So make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, comment down below. Also turn on the post notification bell, which is down below. The Skycorn merch link is going to be down in the description. And my Skycorn sweatshirt is actually coming in the mail. It's gonna be here any day. I am so excited. So I know you Skycorns want me to get to the video. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, Skycorns, so in my video on how to ear press Hansen in one day, go click the i there to watch it. In that video, I explained all of the steps in order to get your press handstand. Now, a lot of you have been commenting, hey Skylar, I don't know how to do the lean press. Hey Skylar, I keep falling over in a back bend. Things like that. So I'm gonna actually do sections of what things you guys want me to clarify. So the first thing, a lot of you have been asking about the lean press. So this is the lean press against the wall. Now, in my video, I did the lean press on the floor. So if you do not have a lean press on the floor, you definitely need to use a wall. So um, I'm actually, going to be against a wall. Now, what, right before I go, I'm not just gonna be like this, ugh, and just let my whole body go loose. I need to put my hands not fully against the wall, because look, if you go fully against the wall, you literally can't get up. Like, I think it's humanly impossible. So you can't get up in that way. So what you need to do is you need to put your hands like a little bit like further away from the wall, you need to press and you need to get your shoulders near the wall. And then you need to press up. And then you need to press down. You come down and you go up again. I recommend doing about 10 of these. So after you've done a lot of these, Meaning you feel like you can do that lean press against the wall like this. It doesn't take any thought process. It doesn't take any, oh my gosh, I need to focus. I need to get my brain focused on what I'm doing. No, this is like, see how sometimes we walk? If we're walking, we don't have to be able to go like this, right, left, right, left. No, we just go like, Hey y'all, what you doing? That's what the lean press should feel like. It should feel like this. Hey mom, how you doing? What's for dinner? Yeah, pasta, that's great. That's what it should feel like. It should feel like easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I could do that in my sleepy. So what you have to do is you have to do a lot of these. And I recommend not just doing this. Okay, all right, all right. Um, have a little coffee break. Oh yeah, oh, that's nice coffee. All right, all right, um, do another one. Oh, okay, all right, oh, 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 I need to do my hard now. Okay, yeah, mm-hmm, no. You need to do like 10 of these in a row like I just showed you. And then you'll be getting used to it. You're fully prepared, you go on the floor. Now, 
a lot of you are like, what, what is a lean press, Kelly? Like, I couldn't even see what you were doing. So what you're doing is you're on your hands and your feet. And now, I don't know if you can see me, but you're going like this. You're going to go on your toes. This is, this is you, you're on your toes. And you're going to lean forward. You're having your shoulders in front of you. And your legs just start coming off the floor. Like that. Your legs just start coming off the floor when you lean forward. Because look, if I'm leaning forward, guys, I'm gonna fall forward. Why did I fall forward? Because I didn't put any pressure in my shoulders. So you need to put pressure in your shoulders. So if you're going up like this, you need to lean forward, you need to lean forward, you need to go on your toes, and then you need to press. So this is the full motion. Lean on your toes, lean, press. Just like that. Okay, Skycorn, so the next tip is how not to fall over. <laughs> My hair is in a weird position. So, um, when you're leaning forward for your press handstand, it, like I explained last time, it can't just be I'm leaning forward and then you fall. Like, it, it just can't be that way. So what I recommend doing is building your strength up. Now, a lot of you are like, well, how do I build that strength? Like, that makes no sense. So these are the exercises that can build up your arm muscles. So. Definitely a plank hold, just holding this basic plank and doing a shoulder shrug. Doing about 50 of these a day can really build up that shoulder strength. Also, doing handstands against the wall. This handstand is actually building up the scapula, meaning right here, it's gonna be building up that muscle. Now, when you go with your stomach against the wall, like this, it's going to be building your inside shoulder muscles. So that is going to be building right here. So basically doing lots of handstands, planks, and once you're really good at those, it also can be helpful to just do plain old handstands on the ground. Just like this. You can walk around your house when your mom is making dinner on your hands. Mom, I'm hungry, when is dinner? Oh, Mom, I'm just gonna walk back and forth and talk to you while you make that scrumptious meal. You can do stuff like that. Also, another exercise that can build up your shoulders is um, a handstand, but when you're doing the handstand, you tap your shoulders like this. So yeah. Those are the exercises that can build up your shoulder strength so you can do a lean press and actually make it up easily. The other thing I want to explain about press handstand is the full press handstand, but actually controlling it when you get up. So this is what I'm gonna be explaining. So when you're sitting down and you're doing your press handstand, you have to control your press handstand you can't let it go, basically. So when you're doing your press handstand, you have to control it. This is an example of what not to do. You're going for your press, you're ready, you're excited, you can't wait to make this. Oh, I do not know how to control it. The reason you can't control it is because you're letting your stomach go. So when you let your stomach go like this, so, okay, if you're following my tutorial, which I hope you are, um, and stand out like this, and I want you to walk around your house like this. Oh, I need to go get some water in the fridge. Oh. Doesn't feel too good, right? No. Now, if you walk to the fridge like this, oh, tighten my muscles. Wow, that glass of water is easy. So that's the press handstand basically. So you have to keep your muscles so tight that like you can't move. So if you're in a handstand, so let's say I go to a handstand and I let my stomach go. What do I do? I fall over. So in your press handstand, now in a handstand, me squeezing my abs and squeezing all my muscles. 
So you need to stay tight. So if you're going for your rest handstand like this, when you start, I want you to actually, just to get used to controlling, squeeze your thighs, squeeze your legs, like tighten, and then kind of like go like this with your arms, like you're pressing, and then you move like this, and then you're gonna go up and you're gonna squeeze every muscle in your body. Go. No, that was easy. So the last tip I'm going to give is the cheat press, but actually making the cheat press into a press. Because sometimes you can have a cheat press and then you could just be so connected to the cheat press that you don't get the real press. So this is what the cheat press, I honestly don't even like that word. How about the, the press before the press? I don't know. So you're just gonna be um, sitting down and you're gonna do the same exact thing as you do as you would go into a press. So you're gonna go like this and you're gonna hold. You're gonna hold this position. And I believe that this position is literally the most important position in a press. So maybe just hold this for about a couple seconds. You press up and then you stand like this. And then you do the lean press. So in order to actually get the press, you need to make this in like a motion. It can't just be like this, hold and stop and lean and press and step. It has to be like, hold and stop and lean and press, go. You know what I'm saying? Okay, good. So, you're gonna be going up, hold and up and forward and press and up, bam. Do a lot of those. When you do a lot of those, you're gonna get the press. Also, a way that can actually get you higher on your press is you can start in a frog position. So bend down and I want you to put your arms like near your knees like this. So it's like you're a frog. Honestly, sometimes maybe you can look like a spider. So like here, I'll face you. Kind of looking like this. Like, hey guys, it's me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So kind of looking like that. So you're gonna go up, you're gonna stay here. So you can kind of rest your elbows on your thighs, right? And this will actually get you higher on your press and then once you start getting used to your press, you can do it the other way. So look, I'm higher on my press and then I can just go like that. Doing those can actually make you like feel like, oh, I got my press, but then you'll start being like, I can do it without putting, resting my elbows on my thighs. I can just sit down, I can put my arms here, and I don't even need to use any support, meaning that you can do it like this. Meaning you can do it like this. Yeah. I really hope you Skycorns enjoyed this video. Make sure to like it, subscribe to my channel, comment down below. Also, turn on the post notification bell, which is going to be down below. And the Skycorn merch link is always down in the description. And I just wanna say, I am giving three shout outs right now to three people. Emily Zaruzua, Fast Brayley, and Amelia May, yeah, awesome. So that is it for today's video. I love you Skycorns so much. Make sure to be happy, stay strong, be positive, and just have fun in your life, man. So I will see you Skycorns in my next video. Bye Skycorns, we are unisome. Bye Skycorns, I did it right this time, didn't I?